back. Another episode. Crafty Koi. Sunday morning. Don't feel too bad today, which is good. Um, I've already put my first video out, so this is the start on the Sunday. The weather is glorious. You wouldn't think it was the end of Feb, um, but it is. So, right, what have we got on today? So, you would have seen I've already started on the on the sleeper pond. Uh, sorry, the sleeper build for the um, for the raised bed in the middle. Um, what we're going to do today, well, plans are to continue on with that. I don't know how far I'm going to get. Depends how I feel throughout the day. Um, but nevertheless, um, let's see how it goes. So, stay tuned. So then, let's have a quick look about them. Right, so today, oh, bloody hell, fell over. Uh, so today, uh, we'll continue on with this. Um, but before I do any more up that way, I'm going to come in uh, down the back of here today. So um, from there, all I'm simply going to do is just grab my bits. So today what we're going to do is we're going to work out what we need uh, down the side and for those people that have never done anything like this like me for instance um, you have to do a bit of research so um, you'll see along the bottom okay that I've got like a little gravel bed okay so that was bought up from the old bed that we used to have that was just across the uh, just across the front here that the aces used to sit on in their pots but uh, i bagged all that up now um worked out where i wanted the line to go and then obviously tried to get that as straight as i could it's like to be fair it's uh not far off uh bang on level what we need to do today is we need to square this off and that getting ready for the for the next line so use a set square across the end like so and then all you simply do is you then run a line off of that. So I ain't gonna be able to do it one handed, but it's what it is. All right, so from there, all I'm simply gonna do, put a line in there. And I've got I've got a chalk liner, okay, which is basically a, a line, and then inside there, uh, yeah, you add some chalk. Um, and sort of unscrew that, put some chalk in it, and what it does, so you can you can flick it against the when it's tight, you can flick it against the floor, and it'll leave a line. But I won't be using it for that reason today. Uh, all I'm simply going to do here now, just wrap that round, push that in there, and then all I'm going to do is run this backwards, like so. And then I'm going to measure out how I want that to go. So you'll see, like straight away, it was slightly offline there. But using the using the set square, all I'm going to do is line that line that line up, and then run it down that way. And then I'm going to find what I need, and then I'll come back to you in a second. And so from here, you see I've raised this end up here. I've then laid the sleeper down um, and if I come down a bit you'll see there's gaps down here all right so what I've got to do now especially just there look, I don't know if you can see it properly you see there right it's well off the floor so all I'm going to do now because I've got I know where I'm going I'm about level um, so what I'm going to do from here is I'm just going to move that up and I'm going to build this part up a little bit of earth underneath it and then some shingle across the top and then uh, just knock it flat again. So once that's in, this end here, uh, you'll see there that it's well in. All right, so what I'm gonna have to do this end is dig that out a piece just there so I can get the next part flat. So uh, once I've done that, I'll come back to you. So then that one's in, see there, nice and flush, nice and square. Off down there, look, 
nice gravel bed been put in stumpered down a uh, little bit off on this side with regards to the bed but don't matter because one of goes in that go underneath down here secured in place with a couple of L brackets all right so next thing we're going to do is we need to start making some cuts for the smaller ones i've got one there and then to follow here uh, i need another one there because what i didn't want to do i didn't want to put um two of the same size on top of each other i wanted a little break in it i'm a bit weird like that but here's what it is and then so i've got another one to come in there and then one down there then that's the offcuts done and then i will need another one just here because i'll put a full length from the left so we've got little pieces here so right so just gonna give you a little little tip when uh, measuring that i'm gonna spin that around right you'll see that when we're measuring that a lot of people tend to go like this and then go up to there well to be honest that's not the best way of doing it i'll give you an estimate but it won't give you an accurate so what you need to do is come up to this end slide it back and lock it off like so lock it off like so all right and then on each tape measure I'm just one here you'll see just here Right, it actually tells you how long from there to that flat point is there. So all you simply do is you have a look what your measurement is there. And then you add that point on there. And then that will then give you your exact measurement. Just a little tip. So from there, I've got 540mm plus 71mm. That equals 611mm. So I've written it on the top of the sleeper um, that way. I can go back to uh, measuring the other ones up and then I know which one's which when I come to do the cuts. I'm going to do that now for all the other areas uh, and then I'm going to get the whole chop saw on. Right, back again. You know what? I forgot to do loads of filming, but it's what it is. Um, slight change of plan as well, which is... Uh, what's the best, thing, best way to say it? interesting so turn you around show you what i've got up to so then you can see now pretty much done on here uh, for for this side so free up okay all been secured together all the way along at every join all right uh probably put another i've got to put a couple in there by the looks of it right but this is where things change slightly so what i decided to do over here okay so we've got the bottom the first bottom rung and i've took the, the old fence out um that conifer's coming out these posts are staying in one there one there now rather than have just one big box across the middle what I decided to do where this section is here, I'm now going to run um, another sleeper section across the hole of the back. Okay, so here I'm going to tie into the old railway sleeper, one of the real ones with all the tar in it. You can't get hold of these days. Right, I'm going to use, I need to get some more sleepers, that's why we're at where we're at. Um, but I'm going to build this up too high. That sleeper will come across the back there. And then it'll go down there and then come across. All right, so it's still going to be three high, but it's going to have a little recess there. And then it'll be too high for me that way. When we're over this side of the garden, all right, because it's too high, it's not going to encourage too much over there all right so um not only that but it's then going to create a higher platform another platform and we'll probably put in another bed down the side so as it goes it's quite 
it's quite a big old chunk of the garden i ain't gonna lie all right but ultimately that look quite nice especially when it's stepped because believe it or not um once all this crap's moved and the lawn's down uh, we have got a small seating area down there we're gonna knock the chicken coop down and then rebuild that because we've got a load more of garden behind that um so we're gonna we're gonna move that that is straight it's just the top one's not secured that's why it's going off like that so so as you can see from there that look lovely especially when we get all the aces in right that's going to create a beautiful colorful canopy especially in the summer um anyway it's not just about that um you will see there all right that's enough enough room there to get shitloads more dirt all right so when the skip comes this week all that's going to be gone we'll be cutting this out we'll be getting that out we'll be driving a digger in we're we'll scraping that out of there the dirt will be going in there then we'll be cutting the rest of this out dumping this concrete down here where the old filter used to sit right and then once that's done uh, we'll be ready for the concrete pour in the bottom right and then down there we'll have a 600 600 mil path and then down the edges i'll dig down into that and then what i'll do is i'll, I'll put some uh, some some more gravel some bit more decorative and that'll be the same down this side i might put um might put a a, a drain down this side here to a soak away um just to keep the water off of uh, the side of the block so let me spin you around battery's just about to run out so look at that sky that looks a lush end of february look at that love it anyway garden's a bomb site don't matter it's gonna look good when we're done um thanks for watching subscribe if you haven't already if you are thank you again thank you for all the support we're gonna try and keep on top of the old gray matter hopefully the anxieties start lifting a bit as i get through this as well one less thing to worry about uh, but until next time stay safe everyone peace in ukraine welcome back what are you got episode of crafty koi so right a uh, small update um the skip is filled could not believe how much um brick and concrete there was from the last time I ain't gonna lie. so down the back now don't look too like done much all of that was all down that side this side was covered with brick now i had to walk it all the way from the bottom of the garden all the way down to the skip so um yeah so this is where we're at i'm gonna spin you around so then don't it still look like a bomb site doesn't it right but actually this is all shingle right that will be getting used okay uh, all the fence panels are gone all the wood sorted the wood now got some uh pieces of wood that i elected to keep because wood's dear now um and then we've got a few trees acer trees dotted about which for those people with aces you'll notice now that they're going to start budding up so as you can see there's some buds coming through on there so this is the the best time now to actually plant your acer um so what will happen is uh, the roots will will take better to the soil and then from inside right so you'll see on these aces for those people that keep aces right there's dead wood right so this is a good time now to split these off now for those people that don't know how to separate the branches if you look here it's a perfect example all right where you've got um a branch that separates into three 
all you simply do is snip off the middle one and that will then generate the growth into the side so you can see on this one you can do the same with that and then it'll generate the growth out that way so that high boo is lovely right so anyway back to the pond so concrete's gone concrete footings have all gone ignore them it's just a little bit to stop getting muddy feet so you see pond is almost done so all we're going to do soon when i've spoken to rob me busy over the road take this fence panel out the old girl next door said we could come through her garden which is spiffing so from here that fence panel is getting taken out and then we're going to dig the remainder of the pond out to the level that this is at the moment all right then once that's done mot is going and we're going to whack that down ready for the pond pour so with regard to this part here all right again you can see that that's all in place now a uh, few finishing touches on there just got to plane some of the edges off there to make it nice and smooth down the actual um down the actual flower bed itself okay and then you'll see we've got the pond at the back now i know it's yesterday got a bit of an issue in the pond but i'll cover that later on um with regards to the back here what i'm about to do now is just put some uh, timber locks in place to give it a little bit more um support and then get ready to put uh, the remainder on at the back so i'm gonna try and navigate around the back Beautiful. Right, so we'll see around the back here. So all I've simply done there is I've laid a sleeper off, uh, nice and level. All right, so when we come down the back here now, one thing that I've got to put in place um, down the back here is a small separate amount of wood. Let's try and get a bearing on that. So a small piece of wood down the back just to elongate that. And the reason for that is when this gets filled, right, because this has got no additional um, additional panels below, right, the earth will naturally fall away. So from the other side, you will get a small gap. And I don't want there to be any, earth, uh, any air. So by putting a little support behind, like on a block of wood, I'm going to use some decking, some old decking wood down there. Just, just a couple of inches. When it comes to fill, it will have something to trap against and then it'll sit up. So, but I'll, you'll see that as and when I do it. So, uh, you'll see there. Let's try and zoom in for you. Sturgeon's got his nose stuck up. He's obviously a bit hungry, which is fine. But it looks like I might have um, a bit of an issue uh, in the pond. But I'm going to have a look at that, at that later on. So, let me swing around. All right. In the meantime, I'm going to crack on here, and I'll give you a small update. I know it's not the actual pond, but it's part of my pond build with the way that I'm doing things, documented for my own benefit, and also to show the kids and whatnot um, later on. So until then, stay safe, stay safe, stay tuned, and I'll come back in a minute. So then, right, initially I was going back to that to where the end of that slab is that's laying down. However, uh, since I've done this. I'm just going to pop over and sweep this fence out of Not very well prepped, am I? To be quite honest, I don't care. De -de -de. Right. Shooting. Right, so, initially, I was coming out to this sort of line here. Right, now, it's only a foot. Right, but, since we built, since we built this, or I built this, um, I don't really want the pond coming any further than this point here because if it comes out to here, I just don't think it'll look uniform enough. So as we come back to here, the pond comes down that level there, right, which is spiffing, and then um, filter house will come off the back, but it'll be set back. Um, then once all that's done, the chicken coop's gonna go behind the shed and then we're going to reclaim the land that that sits on. But now we'll see that the aces are starting to come back into bud. Okay, and we've got a few knocking about like so. Uh, 
that one's a katsura so starting to uh, leaf already They're, they always come first you have to be careful of the frost with them right you can see that there's a load of earth in there to be fair the best earth's just underneath that but i don't mind so what the plan is for today is to pick that one out which is benamacchio this one skeeter's broom this one this one this one high boo over by fatty buddha just there and then my dad's one staying in the pot and then i've got one two three four five more on the table so plan is oh nearly bloody fell in the the unfilled pond get some of them in there and then we're going to get some of them in there and then mr fatty green will be over here as well that way i'm freeing up some more space once that's done i've got another railway sleeper hiding underneath there once the pond's done that will be them making the edge you can just about make out just here down the side of the garden where the fern is oh look there's a couple more races there and all and some ferns right so let me spin you around So I'm sweating my tits off, as you can probably tell. I don't know why, but I'm like a human sprinkler when it comes to doing a bit of manual. But right, anyway, I'm going to end it there because light's against us. Um, I, I want to make sure I can see what I'm doing. Uh, not that I really know what I'm doing, I'm just playing it by ear as I go, which is part of the fun. So, um, next time, um, we'll be getting the rest of the MOT in, giving it a good whack. It's payday Friday. So I'll be able to get a bit of shutter in, order the concrete ready, um, and then get the bottom drain set. Now I have got another method of putting the bottom drain in that is different to everybody else. I have been speaking to somebody that is a very good builder, my brother, um, built all of his own extension on his own, including the roof, the drains, plastered everything. You'll probably meet him later on because he's gonna give me a crash course and how to lay brick. Um, so yeah because he's a ledge anyway um next time i was going to show you how we set the bottom drain ready and then um we'll cover the rest over with some mot and give it a good whacking uh, ready for the concrete pour but until then lads and something i can't remember because uh, it's been that long but i'll pick it up the old cliche uh, but until then uh, i'm going to end it there remember spring is in the air but you should not be chucking loads of feed in because your fish aren't ready for it yet. All right, so they've got to wake up, get acclimatised to the water, let the digestive system sort itself out, um, and then 
remember the more food you put in the more you're going to upset your water quality so make sure you're maintaining that as well so we're going to sign off now thanks for watching if you haven't already make sure you hit the subscribe button somewhere there okay the like and share i know i ain't been on air for some time um but you know thanks for all the support those people that have continued dropping messages you know it goes a long way um i was ready to give youtube the uh, the cold shoulder if i'm honest but uh, i'm back on it let's see how we get on um and until then stay tuned remember bottom drain next time we're going to start getting the last part of the preparation done before the build starts so remember enjoy the coin now just pan round